What is going on my average gamer Superman Ryan here and we are back with some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Nexus and today ladies and gentlemen we're going to be continuing our new series where you guys send me via my Facebook fan page or Twitter themed decks but today ladies and gentlemen because I'm recording a bulk few episodes uh, at the beginning of this series I am going to be showcasing one more deck for you guys and that is my ultimate defensive deck my ultimate defensive deck I'm really really excited to show it to you guys because <laughs> this deck is so fucking trolly so fucking trolly okay so we are gonna go uh join a duel game found sweet son all right and we are gonna ready oh no 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 shit okay so we do need to change this deck i believe it's test two maybe i hope it's test two it's not a butt. We're gonna go rock. Ooh, girl. Uh, we're gonna go second. I'm gonna go second. Is this the right deck? I do believe that it is. Let's see. Pot of the Forbidden. Uh, let's see. You can activate this one of these effects. Draw two cards. Return all spell check cards on the field. Destroy all monsters. Your mortal controls. Look at the top hand. Look at your opponent's hand. Uh, okay. During either player's turn, when your opponent. Activates a monster effect that would inflict battle damage. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. I like how Sphere Karibo on here is called Curry Ball. What is this? Abyss Actor Extra. Never seen that card in my life. Never seen that card in my life. However, he is using a, a uh, Obelisk of Tormentor icon or, or avatar. So he's probably pretty fucking good on this game. It's going to be a little bit terrifying. A little bit terrifying. As always, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you follow me on these social media links down below. If you want to duel me on Yu-Gi-Oh! Nexus with whatever deck it is that you decide to create, let me know that in the comment section below. Or DM me on Twitter, tweet at me, whatever. Message me on my uh, Facebook fan page. Just let me know. All right, 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 all right. So let's see. We are going to summon. Set, I should say. We are going to set the big shield gardener in defense position. What is this? Uh, the first time each abyss actor monster you control would be destroyed by battle each turn. It's not destroyed. Once per turn, you can activate abyss actor monsters you control. Your opponent cannot target it with the card effects until the end of the phase, even if this card leaves the field. If it's set, okay. I kind of get the gist of it. We're going to end our turn. So, ladies and gentlemen, this deck right here centers around Astral Barrier. And uh, Spirit Barrier. Spirit Barrier being if I have a monster on the field, then I do not take any battle damage. And Astral Barrier, as you can see here, if your opponent's monster attacks a monster on your side of the field, you can make the attack a direct attack. Mean, oh my god, that's got 3,000 attack. Holy shit. Meaning that if I have Astral Barrier on the field and Spirit Barrier on the field, I can make every single attack. As long as I have one monster on the field, I can have every single attack a direct attack but not lose any life points from it because I have a monster on the field with my spirit barrier we are gonna activate an effect it is gonna be curry ball you are gonna go into to defense position and I don't think that you're gonna let your 900 attack yeah I was gonna say I don't think that you'd be dumb enough to let your 900 attack monster it also centers around a body made of Anubis and trap monsters because <laughs> let's just come in clutch um, I really would like, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to, okay, so I'm going to throw that card face down, and I'm going to throw Jerry Beans Man face down, and then I'm going to end my turn right there. What I'm planning on doing right now is getting my Pot of the Forbidden on the field in defense position. It is a 3,000 defense monster. <laughs> okay. Two cards could be changed. Yes, I am going to activate Embodiment of Anubis. I'm not going to activate that just yet. I need to keep at least two monsters on the field. No. I don't know what he's doing right now. Whatever he's doing, I don't like it. I do not like it. No, no. I'm not going to change anything with that. Go ahead and take that out. Ooh, so he gets to get that back. First time, okay. 
Uh, fuck no, I'm not gonna chain nothing with that. Take that, take that damage. Take that damage. I fucking dare you to. No. In phase, okay. We are gonna activate the Cup of Ace. Not yet, not yet. I don't want to activate it yet. Tail, so I think, yeah, he gets to draw two cards. Damn it. Okay, so I am going to set my Pot of the Forbidden by sacrificing my two face-down monsters. I'm going to set that face down in defense position, and then I'm going to end my turn. I really, really... There are two cards that I really need to draw right now, and that is, uh, obviously, my Spirit Barrier and... Um, Spirit Reaper. Spirit Reaper. Those two cards right now would come in so clutch. Of course, he's got 3,300 attack. Or, yeah, 3,300 attack points. Destroy all monsters your opponent controls. However, that is going to come in very, very clutch. No, I do not want to activate that. I really just hope that he attacks my monster with something other than Abyss. Other than this abyss, even if he attacks it with this one, I'm okay with that. With a 2500, I'd be okay with that. No, he's going to attack it with that one. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Oh, man. I got to take that damage. I got to take that straight fucking damage. He's probably looking at me like, what the fuck are you doing? What are you doing? No. Destroy all the monsters your opponent controls. Bye bye, son. Bye, Felicia. Bye, Felicia. Can we get. Oh, we got another Astral Barrier. I do not want Astral Barrier. I do not want Astral Barrier. Uh, I'm going to end my turn. I'm going to end my turn. Fuck. Ah. The one good thing about this deck, though, is nobody really wants to destroy Astral Barrier. Astral Barrier does nothing but help them out. Astral Barrier does absolutely nothing but help them out for the most part. Because it, it just means that they get to attack my life points directly. What is it that makes this guy gain 300? 300, uh... That didn't do anything. This card is a normal summon, a special summon. You can target one monster on the field. Uh, for each control to the interim, this card destroys the of body. You can target one. This script, grave. Okay. I don't know what it is about this guy that makes him gain 300 attack, though. That's the one thing that I need to prevent is him gaining 300 attack. Who just gained 2,000 life points? He just gained 2,000 life points. What the shit? Oh, man. He's about to gain some attack points, isn't he? He's about to gain some attack points. Now, the ultimate defensive strategy. I'm going to say this right now. Disclaimer. The ultimate defensive strategy is not the perfect defensive strategy. It's just the best defensive strategy that there is. It still has room for a lot of work. Okay, so we are going to set an embodiment of Anubis face down. We're going to end our turn. I am not going to activate it, however. There's no point in activating it right now just to get it destroyed. Um, yeah, no, there's really, there's really no point in it. I just really do not want him to get over this Pot of the Forbidden. Because if he gets over the Pot of the Forbidden, then I lose. 2600 attack. What turn you can detach one of these? One of these Take control of that monster. This card. Oh my god! No! No! I gotta activate it. I gotta activate it. Oh man, and he can do that for two turns. What is this? Uh. Okay, so that doesn't. That doesn't really do anything. Okay, so we're gonna throw that into the defense position. Oh my gosh, he can do that for two fucking turns. Which means I lose. I lose. I lose. All he's got to do is attack me with his big num or his number 11 big eye and then attack my life points directly with these two. But he's not going to do that. He's going to summon this once per turn during either play's turn when a spell card is activated. 
a uh, spell card or effect is activated on the field you can negate the effect and if you do son of a bitch that's the one thing I don't like about this is you you gotta like maneuver your mouse around to scroll down and read um yes No. That does not help me at all. That did. Wait. Oh my god, he gets to keep it? He gets to keep my fucking monster? Are you kidding me? I thought he only got him for the one turn. No, he gets to keep it. Are you fucking kidding me I just gave him a 3,000 defense 2,000 attack monster that is absolutely insane that is fucking crazy no there's no point in activating it oh wait what is this oh shit it's my jar of greed I thought that was my second astral barrier yeah no there's there's every reason in the world to activate my jar of greed it's jar of greed Yes, yes, I want to activate Jar of Greed. Why do I have Exodia in this deck? Oh, that's right, I threw Exodia in this deck so that I would actually have a strategy to win. Because when I first made this deck, it was either you deck your opponent out or you just, you lose. Or the, the duel goes on forever until they rage quit. I mean, that was... That was essentially uh, how things went. I got 100 life points left. I have 100. No, I don't want to activate Astral Barrier. Yes. Oh my gosh, and that would have been fucking fantastic. Well, no, because Exe's monsters, they don't have levels, so it wouldn't have mattered. Okay. So we are going to hop on into one more duel. We are going to hop into one more duel. We're going to see how this next duel goes. As always, ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed this video, consider hitting that like button. It would be very, very appreciated. Okay, so we're going to ready up. We're going to go up against Peace 23. We're going to pick Rock this time. I usually pick Paper, but it's a good thing that I picked Rock. We are going to go second because I do want to get that, that draw in. Two pieces of Exodia right out of the gate. That's not good. That's not good. <laughs> that, that's not good. Really, the best... Oh man, that's not good. This deck, the downside of this deck is it's not a good hand unless you draw uh, at least Astral Barrier, Spirit Barrier, or Spirit Reaper uh, on your first turn. <clears throat> Wonder Balloons is not going to help me out any. I'm going to activate Level Limit Area B. I am going to activate Wonder Balloons just to help out just a little bit. Uh, we're going to activate that. And that's going to be it. That's going to be all that we're going to get rid of. We're going to end our turn with that. Getting two pieces of Exodia is horrible. That's a horrible fucking hand. Even, not even in just this deck. Any deck where you draw multiple pieces of Exodia on your first turn, it's horrible absolutely horrible because there's nothing that you can do with the exodia pieces you do not want to take them out of your hand you want them to be in your hand as long as they can be because that's how you're going to win the duel so not mm, getting these two cards in my first turn really may have fucked me over of course this guy does not know what kind of deck that i'm running uh and he's taking a little bit of time he does have 14 cards in his extra deck however I don't know if that's just because he wants to fake me out, or he's really got 14 cards in there that he can use. What is this? What is this? Activate, Jar of Greed, Double Summon, that's what it is. Okay, so there is my Spirit Barrier. It's not really going to be helpful right now unless I draw my Astral Barrier this next turn. Uh, if I can draw Astral Barrier in my, next car in my next card, if I draw Astral Barrier, we will be... Gucci. So hashtag heart of the cards in the comment section below, ladies and gentlemen. What is this? When this card tribute you summon, you can target two face up spell trap cards on the field. Destroy those targets. You know what? 
I'm, I'm, I'm happy he did it with these two cards uh, rather than my Spirit Barrier and Astral Barrier. So, you know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. Do it. I don't care. I don't care. Now, that level limit area B was my first line of defense, however, so he has gotten past that. What do we got? Hashtag heart of the cards in the comment section below. Do it right now. Pause me if you have to. Hashtag heart of the cards in the comment section below. What do we got right here? Which of the black rows? This card cannot be special summoned when you can. When this card is normal summoned while you control no cards, draw one card and reveal it. If the card you drew is not a monster, send it to the graveyard and destroy this card. Oh my god, that's a horrible effect. That's an absolute horrible effect. Just for a 1700 attack 4 star monster. Horrible. Put a warrior digrepher in your deck, dude. Okay, so this is going to help out a little bit. This is going to help out a little bit. Not gonna help out a lot, but it will help out a little bit. I just 1800 defense. <sighs> I gotta end my turn. I gotta let Mobius the Frost Marnock attack my life points directly. There's really not anything else I can do. I can I can activate Embodiment of Anubis, but this is gonna just go right over my life. It's gonna go right over my monster. This is going to go right into my life points. I might lose less life points that way, but at least next turn I'll have a monster on the field still. And if he summons another monster that has like this, okay, so this is not going to be able to make it over that. Red Resonator. When this card is normal summon, you can special summon one level four or lower monster from your hand. When this card is special summon, you can target one face-up monster on the field, gain life points equal to its attack. You can use... You can only use this effect of Red Resonator once per turn. What are you doing? You can't special... When this card is normal summon, you special summon one level 4 or lower monster from your hand. So what are you waiting on? It's got to be one of your face down cards. Because you don't have a monster in your hand that you can special summon. And your Red Resonator was not special summoned. So you're not going to gain life points. So it's got to be... One of your face down cards that you're you're contemplating using. I don't know I don't know what you're doing, but hurry up, son. Hurry up. I think this may be the last duel uh, of this video. What is going on? Oh, oh you secret summoning. Okay, let's see. Uh during any place turn. When a card or effect is activated that would destroy this card on the field, you tribute summon destroy. No. Uh, if the effect was activated this turn and was not negated, you can special summon this card from your graveyard. Okay. Yep. Stardust Dragon is pretty much just good for coming back to the field over and over and over again. The one card, who's he attacking with? The one card that I really wish that I had in this deck was would be. Um... Wait, why didn't it give me the opportunity to activate my trap? Oh wait. Uh, when the card effect during, during it, pays. Why is it not giving me the chance to activate my trap? What is going on here? Neither of these say anything about the battle phase. Anyway, one card that I really need to throw in here. I've been meaning to throw it in here, but I keep forgetting. Is um. Um, 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 Scrap Iron Scarecrow. What is this guy doing? What is taking him so long? Get off that. What is taking this guy so long? Let's see. It is 11. What is taking you so long? You got 85 seconds, son. You got 85 seconds to make a move or you just lose. And then my ultimate defensive deck still fucking wins. Because you're stupid. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you guys show your support. If you like seeing these videos, you like seeing these theme decks. I know I've been losing a fucking shit ton today, but gosh damn. <laughs> but you, you like seeing these theme decks. Let me know that down in the comment section below. Or show your support by hitting that like button. Remember guys to send me your themed decks. Or just send me your deck. If you want to see me use your deck, send me your deck. Whatever deck you guys want to see me use, oops, 
whatever deck you guys want to see me use, make sure you send them to me either via Twitter or via my Facebook fan page. Whichever one is easier for you, that's all okay with me. And links are always in the description box below. What the fuck is taking this guy so long? It's literally been 50 seconds since I said you had 86 seconds left. You got 25 seconds, man. 25 seconds before you just lose. What is going on here? I don't know. I think that some people do this on purpose because they're like, oh. I'm gonna make him rage quit because I'm making him wait so long when it's really like, no, dude, because I can just, I can wait you out. I can wait you out two minutes. Go take a duty. <laughs> and then you lose. Whatever. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is gonna be it for this video. As always, if you enjoyed this video, again, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, you think that this series is gonna be a good idea. You wanna see some more content that we got going on, whether it be Yu-Gi-Oh! Nexus, Duel Links, Yu-Gi-Oh! Generations is going to be coming back to the channel. And don't forget about our live streams. You want to see all that every single day, hopefully twice a day, if I can keep up to date with it with everything that, that I got going on family-wise. Um, but you want to see more of that, consider hitting that subscribe button. Don't forget, guys, to hit that notification bell. So not only can you be notified as soon as my videos go live, but you'll be notified as soon as I go live on YouTube. Again, guys, we go live on YouTube every single Saturday, noon central standard time. But again, we have been going live at like 9 a.m. 9 a.m. for the past month almost and it's been fucking awesome but that is gonna be it for this video guys as always i want you all to have a very very beautiful day and remember to keep it gucci peace guys